the USA up all night. We're coming to you this week from one of the most prestigious hot spots in LA, the Beverly Hills Health Club. This club is so exclusive, even I had to audition to get a membership. See that steam back there? That's Evian. During the show, I'll be flexing and bending and demonstrating the moves and exercises that I personally developed and that personally developed me. <laughs> And in keeping with our long tradition of excellence in cinema, we're proud to present tonight two groundbreaking features. Malibu Bikini Shop, a movie that strips away the glamour from the Southern California beach life and zeroes in behind the scenes to take a hard look at hard bodies. And our first feature this evening, Cheerleader Camp. This film was universally panned by critics as just another teenage TNA slice and dice flick. But as video rentals soared, it came to be seen as the political thing piece it really is. It is a tour de force for director John Quinn, who is famous for his use of light to explore character, his use of dark to explore light, and his use of ketchup. Lots and lots of ketchup, as you see here. <laughs> this movie is rated triple X. Cadavers under 17 must be accompanied by a parent or an undertaker. Hey, Rhonda, you want to hand me the soap? Uh, wait, I thought this was the women's locker room. It is. Oh. <laughs> Hi, we're back here at the Beverly Hills Health Club where I've just finished my pre-workout shower. Well, it all looks quite innocent so far at Camp Hurrah, but the stage is set for intrigue, backstabbing, and bad Kool-Aid. I know. I've been to camp. USA Up All Night will be right back. All right, who's the wise guy? Where are my clothes? Uh, come on, crew, own up. Who's got it? This is Rhonda with USA Up All Night, and we're still here at the Beverly Hills Health Club, and I'm still waiting. <laughs> come on, you guys, give me something to wear. Very funny. Let's get back to the action at cheerleader camp, and someone here is going to get some action. It's Ron here in USA, up all night at the Beverly Hills Health Club with all these hot people working out behind me. Hey, but don't you just hate when that happens? Maybe she should try a little clear cell next time. Oh, and that's Sue. If that was suicide, I'll eat my pom-poms. After these messages, I'll be showing you some special Rhonda sizes. Welcome back to USA Up All Night. I'm standing in the wonderfully spacious workout room of the Beverly Hills Health Club, and now it's time for my first Rhonda size. Now, watch this. One, two, three, four. That's how I dry my nails. Gee, I think they're dry. Anyway, this upcoming scene has animal rights activists up in arms. Can you imagine forcing poor defenseless furry creatures to eat greasy burgers and fries? Just watch this if you can. food, honey. But as we'll see, Brent and Timmy took the rap. It's Rhonda here in USA, up all night with Brittany Brown. Hi. Of the Beverly Hills Health Club. Thank now, you. Now, you were going to tell me about some of the incredible classes. Okay. First of all, this club is a labor of love. As you can see, everything has been done sort of from the heart, which is very rare. And the classes are very unique because what we're trying to do slowly is re-educate people. And instead of, we have the aerobics, we have the step classes, we have everything that every other club has. But the most important thing, and remember this, is stretching. Stretching. Stretching and toning and mm. cardiovascular. Without that, that's all you really need. Dance is coming back. I like that. And I don't mean kind of run, run, run dance. I mean kind of dance where you really learn to reach and yoga and breathing. We're going to have seminars discussing so I'm not the immune system. 
how it has to do with the mind and the body. Uh, Self-visualization, uh, self-hypnosis, we have the DT's class, I mean I named some classes that sound kind this of funny. Beverly Hills. It means derriere, thighs and stomachs and when you leave there your tushy really feels it. Tell me about the PMS class. PMS class for ladies. It I sounds think. funny but we know that we all go through some strange feelings, right? <laughs> Instead of beating up your boss or your husband or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whatever. Come to class. Come to class and breathe in. Let all those endorphins get going and feel better, and then, <laughs> then go home and beat them up. No, no, we're no, here, no, no. We're here with Brittany. We're going to go away for a little while, and we'll be back with more of USA Up All Night. But, you know, just show me like a PMS move as we, as we take it out. Just breathe in like yoga. Breathe out. Okay. And then picture a little rubber dummy. We're going to okay. get one. Yeah, I You got don't it. need weights. Gilbert Godfrey. Just give it to him. All right, go ahead. Give it to him. Yeah, it yeah. really hurts. Hi, I'm Rhonda, and you're with me at the Beverly Hills Health Club on USA Up All Night. Now, let's take another look at this scene. What has Allison learned here? A. Camp Hurrah has lousy shelves in its walk-in refrigerator. B. Never drink out of the bottle. And C. Think twice before you bite into that steak tonight. Ooh! The answer is, of course, D. Milk does a dead body good. And as I look around here at the Beverly Hills Health Club, it would seem everyone is taking that advice. I've never seen so much rippled, beefy muscle hunks. And the guys don't look so bad either. <laughs> We'll be right back with more USA Up All Night, right after this. It's me, Rhonda, your bedtime buddy, and we're at the fabulous Beverly Hills Health Club with the big competition drawing near in our movie, Cheerleader Camp, The Tension Mounts. Ooh, and so does the body count. I've won a few tight competitions myself, and I can sure tell you my body counted for a lot. <laughs> but that's another story. Huh. Ouch. Uh, hi there. I don't know about you, but my money's on those two guys, Bartles and James. And poor Pam, what a way to go. That's a real adult-sized bangaroo. More USA up all night, right after this. Ouch! We're exercising all night long at the Beverly Hills Health Club. And what a way to go. I can't remember the last time I had this much fun working up a sweat. Who am I kidding? Of course I can. A little later here on USA Up All Night, we'll be reading viewer letters. But right now, let's get back to the movie and my exercising. One, and two. It's Rhonda here on USA Up All Night at the Beverly Hills Health Club. What a hot place, built by Mark Sumner. You can have one-on-one -on -one training. You can have two-on-one -on -one training. You can have anything you want. You can even get Rhonda mail here, which is what I'm going to do right now, with the help of Robert. Hi, Robert. Thank you, Robert. No, you may not know this about Robert, but he works out at this club every day of the week. He's an investment banker, very wealthy, and he wears his tie as he works out. Is that true? That's right. Cool, Robert. Really cool. I'll meet you on the treadmill, okay? Thanks for helping me out. See ya. What a guy. Now, our first letter this evening is from a doctor. <laughs> Gee, I knew this job would pay off. Dear Rhonda, your lips, your eyes, your legs, your thighs, Let's have dinner together sometime. You bring the wine, I'll bring the fava beans. Love, Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Gee, my mom always wanted me to marry a doctor. Hmm, Rhonda Lecter. Mrs. Dr. Lecter. Well, we'll be back with more of USA Up All Night in a few minutes. Lecter, why is that name so familiar? Anyway, I really love getting all of your exciting letters. I enjoy reading those wonderful anecdotes about my fans, like your jobs, your hobbies, your concurrent life sentences. So I want to hear from everyone. You lawyers, construction workers, male exotic dancers, and of course, all you Democratic presidential hopefuls are all welcome. Here's how to reach me.
We'll be right back with more USA Up All Night right after this. Oh, hi. It's just you and me, Rhonda, and USA Up All Night, all night at the Beverly Hills Health Club. Now, back to clean-cut kids being chased by a psycho in the woods. Somehow I don't think they put that on the camp brochure. Well, maybe it's right after late-night hillside tumbling. Watch. Pam, where are you? Ah! Ooh, I'll bet she's the best in her bunk. You know, my camp had things like tennis, volleyball, arts and crafts. Oh, and speaking of arts and crafts, check out those lame cheerleading outfits. Ooh, I mean, I could make better ones out of uh, popsicle sticks and strings. Yeah, Rhonda likes that. <laughs> Is it any wonder they're being bumped off? Hmm. Oh, well, some people just can't wear a backless dress. For those of you keeping score, it's Maniac 4, Cheerleader 0. More mayhem when USA up all night. Coming to you tonight from the famed Beverly Hills Health Club. This is my personal trainer, Chris. Thank you, Chris. That was very helpful of you. <laughs> well, now that I'm stretched out and warmed up, I think I can handle a little cheerleading myself. You know, it doesn't look that tough. I think I'd be pretty good. I'll give it a try. Take a U. Add an F. Add an A. <laughs> Okay, okay, jeez, everybody's a critic, huh? My, 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 who would have thought it? Corey, the murderer. Well, so much for my Bartles and James theory. Oh, thank you, Chris, the facts. Well, how do you like that? Due to the tremendous viewer response to Cheerleader Camp on USA Up All Night, the producers have decided to make Cheerleader Camp 2. <laughs> Isn't that great? At least they didn't panic. USA Up All Night is coming to you from the Beverly Hills Health Club, the hottest club in town. And I will continue to exercise with you through the night. But before we start our next feature, I want to tell you how hard it was for me to get this film on the air. Oh, you'd think that I'd have some control over my own show, but I had to fight tooth and nail with male corporate bigwigs and demand that the message behind Malibu Bikini Shop not be silenced. Just watch these excerpts. like just another drooling male fantasy, but when you strip down the story and pull back the curtain, you're left with a film that truly has a feminist message. Women don't need clothes to be powerful. Only while wearing the skippiest of bathing suits will we women find true equality. The fact the producers and directors of this film are men is just a sick twist of nature. There'll be more on this later in my Ron tutorial. But now, sisters, pay attention. And please, for all of our sakes, take notes. Oh, will you look at that? I'll bet the bikini waxing bill alone was over half the budget. And the nerve of Alan and Todd. If some guy came up to me with a tape measure, I'd say, you must be joking. But the stars really came out for this one. Look who we have here. <laughs> oh, what a place to live. If I were only young and single like you. Good old Mr. Remington and his first speaking role since I Love Lucy, USA Up All Night, will be back with more Malibu Bikini Shop after this. Oh, Vinny. Yo, Chris. Help, Rond, okay? Ready? Hmm. I love the way you guys do all the work for me. <laughs> We're back at the Beverly Hills Health Club and USA up all night. And now it's time for my Rhonda tutorial. Radical feminism. A thing of the past? Maybe. But whose past? 
certainly not mine. Until recently, the boldest statement I ever made was to wear my bra on the outside. But lately, I have seen the issue in a new light. I discovered that men are starting to dress better than women. Men are changing their hair color, and more and more of the hairy sex are actually getting in touch with their feelings. Sisters, are we going to stand idly by while the groping, hormone-driven enemies of our adolescence usurp our most sacred traditions? Men should be ashamed to cry. They should think with their fists. I don't want to see a makeup with a pH balance developed especially for them. I'm a doer, not a thinker. I've proven that time and time again. With that in mind, I have forged a weapon to use against this rank injustice, H-E-R. Hyperestrogen revolutionaries. This is not just another quilting bee like the N-O-W or the E-R-A. This is the true voice of women everywhere, and I am expecting your support. That's one woman's opinion, and it's mine. Well, these things really work. Now, let's get back to the party, shall we? Do you see that blimp? Sure, she needs a new suit. She ate the old one. Ah, a two-way mirror. That sure brings back memories. I had one on my bedroom ceiling once, but the upstairs neighbors complained and kept them up all night. <laughs> but here I am keeping you up all night on USA. Up all night. How many up all nights can I say in one line? Anyway, funny how things work out. We'll be right back with more Malibu Bikini Shop. Ooh, hi. This is your bedtime buddy, Rhonda. And welcome back to the Beverly Hills Health Club, where we're watching Malibu Bikini Shop on USA up all night. Now, what do you think about our two heroes, Alan and Todd? They're so different. Alan combs his hair, Todd doesn't. Alan buttons his shirt, Todd doesn't. Alan puts the toilet seat back down, and Todd, well, Todd's just a pig, boink. And I bet we haven't heard the last from Alan's girlfriend, Princess Ultra Slim Fast, Jane. Ooh, here's where the film reveals its feminist leanings. Kathy, Cindy, and Ronnie move into the boy's life and completely take it over. The two have their power base ripped away and find themselves slaves to the superior gender, drowning in a sea of estrogen. Even the simplest of tasks overwhelms them. Just look at this. More sisters doing it to themselves when Malibu Bikini Shop returns on USA up all night from the Beverly Hills Health Club. Hi, it's me, Rhonda on USA up all night at the Beverly Hills Health Club. And I'm getting healthy. Can't you see that? And coming up soon in our film, the girls have the intelligent concept to parade their tan lines or lack thereof in front of slobbering nails for fun and profit. But no, Todd thinks he has a better idea and decides to launch his long stagnant singing career with tragic consequences. It was an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini that she wore for the first time today. Yeah, and as if that wasn't enough, he decides to play Chris Columbus. Okay, Margie, I'm in the Nina sailing around the equator and you're the new world, all right? Now, hmm, where can I plant my flag? Why don't you go plant it in the sand, little man? Shh. We'll be back later with some letters from our viewers. But now, more Malibu Bikini Shop on USA. Up! Oh. Yes, yes, a purse loaded with rocks is every woman's right. Personally, I prefer to wear mine around the wrist or neck. But sisters, it's your choice. I'm here at the Beverly Hills Health Club, and you're at home wishing you were too. But in the meantime, you go and watch what's coming up, and I'll be waiting for you when you get back. You can bet on it. More Malibu Bikini Shop on USA up all night, right after this. Ooh. Wow. We're back at the Beverly Hills Health Club, and coming up is a party scene where scantily clad women run amok all through the house. You'd be surprised how far a beach bunny would go for a store discount. This is great, I'm doing it all by myself. Of course, there's no weight on here. <laughs> Ooh, thanks, guys. Now, let's look at that jacuzzi scene again. 
Now I know what those stickers inspected by number 12 mean. Alan's really getting up close and personal with Ronnie, but look what cold wind from Chicago blew in. Jane, symbol of the male destructive impulse in all of us. Sisters, be warned. And gentlemen, be careful. From the Beverly Hills Health Club, it's USA Up All Night. And we'll be right back with more Malibu Bikini Shop. Want to help me again? <laughs> Hi, this is Rhonda at the Beverly Hills Health Club, where I'm stretching and flexing to keep in shape for you, the viewer. And you're watching Malibu Bikini Shop on USA Up oh, All Night. And as I mentioned in my Rhonda tutorial, the organization is HER, Hyper Estrogen Revolutionaries, and I'm calling for your help. Hi, this is Rhonda, and I'm calling on behalf of H-E-R. What? I can't hear you! What do you mean, who's this? Who's this? H-E-R! Hyperestrogen revolutionaries. You're a woman. You must be aware of the inequalities. First, it starts with limited parking validation at the malls. But soon... <laughs> I will not be heard, and neither will the brave men and women of Malibu Bikini Shop. <laughs> That's just what this movie needs, the religious angle. But boy, he sure looks familiar, that Swami guy. Who is he? A. Geraldo Rivera doing another hard-hitting cameo like he did in Bonfire of the Vanities? B. Some dark-skinned extra with a green card? C. Amelda Marcos in drag? D. Sonny Bono with a bad haircut? as if anybody ever saw him with a good haircut. The answer is... B! A dark-skinned extra with a green card. Typical. Just another example of a man taking a job away from a woman. Oh, well. Amelda was perfect, but the producers wouldn't spring for her the shoes. <laughs> Coming at you from the Beverly Hills Health Club, we'll be back with more USA Up All Night right after this. <laughs> Hi, it's Ron here in USA Up All Night at the Beverly Hills Health Club, and I'm just getting ready to take a shower. Sure, BH has its glorious reputation, not to mention the LA lifestyle as a whole, but I have only one complaint about this movie. What is it with these parking spaces? Everyone parks wherever they want. You people at home are watching this and you're thinking, oh, LA, what a great place, sunshine, beaches, beautiful blondes, and parking wherever you want. Well, it's just not that way. Other than that, this film is very realistic. <laughs> really is. We'll be right back with more USA Up All Night right after this. This is Rhonda back with you on USA Up All Night at the Beverly Hills Health Club. Ooh, I just love this Stairmaster. I know I have walked from the Beverly Hills Hotel to the Polo Lounge to the Beverly Hilton Hotel to the Beverly Wilshire Hotel and to my favorite, the Beverly Center, where I can shop. Anyway, this next scene from our movie Malibu Bikini Shop comes right out of America's funniest homemade bathing suits. Looks like they're making swimwear for the Contras. If you look real close, you can see Ollie North shredding in the corner. <laughs> I swear. Now, Back to the action. Ooh, ooh, come on, let's go. We're here at the Beverly Hills Health Club on USA Up All Night. And usually right about now, I read a letter or two from our viewers. But tonight, due to the explosive nature of my Ron tutorial, we have been swamped by faxes and telegrams. Let me read you this one from Gloria Steinem, the self-proclaimed voice of women. Thank you so very much. Dear Rhonda, I am appalled by your editorial. You have reduced all the accomplishments of the women's movement to cosmetics, jiggling flesh, and heaving buns. Serious proponents, female and male, have no choice but to dismiss you out of hand. <laughs> Jeez, Gloria, lighten up. Bouncing bosoms have their place, too. Oh, before I forget, forget what? <laughs> Oh yeah, don't forget to watch tomorrow night when we bring you reason number 92 of why Gilbert Gottfried spends Saturday nights dateless. That's right, folks. He's back. Leaner, meaner, and without his appendix. Stay up with Gilbert on USA up all night 
every Saturday. Well, well, what a woman in a bikini will do to a man's mind never seemed to surprise me. Next, we have another fine film starring Tim Robbins, Matt McCoy, and Amanda Beers.